Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of K&S WrestleFest, and you're about to be completely damaged. Damage fans, I'm with the one and only Tito Santana. Tito, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me here. Now, um, what are some of your favorite memories and uh, matches with Strike Force with Rick Martel? Well, of course, uh, just the fact that we got teamed up, and you know, I had an opportunity to to be in a t uh, tag match, uh, a tag team with with uh, somebody like Rick Martel was an honor. Uh, we had some fantastic matches. Uh, we, we held the title. Uh, for a while, and we became one of the most popular tech teams uh, in the country. Uh, pretty much every every uh, night was memorable, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. We we have some great memories. Now, um, you were part of a tag team and also a singles wrestler. Uh, what did you enjoy doing more? I, I really uh, I felt like uh, my calling was a, a singles wrestler. I uh, I had a lot of success as a single singles wrestler. Uh, uh, you know, winning the intercontinental title, you know, the first time, and then uh, losing it to Valentine, and uh, having a, the longest feud in the history of WWE, uh, and then regaining it, and then you know, holding it for another few months, and losing it to Macho Man. You know, it, yeah. a, lot, a lot of good memories, a lot of great matches, and uh, a lot of uh, great competitors. Now, um, speaking of WWE, uh, what are your thoughts on the business right now, and what's lacking, or what uh, you think needs to improve? Well, I, I don't know what's la lacking. Uh, it's it's a different business, you know. Yeah. Now it's a, a TV entertainment. Uh, when we were doing it, it was uh, professional wrestling. Now, uh, uh, I don't think Vince McMahon. I think it, I heard a rumor because I don't watch it that they were going to get the wrestling out of uh, you know the WWE I have no idea but you know it's a different business you know Vince McMahon uh, still has it uh, very popular on television and uh, making a lot of money you know with uh, for a lot of the wrestlers I don't think it'll ever be the way it used to be you know uh, people uh, are going to have to live with the memories uh, of our era, but you know times have changed true. now most importantly the fans want to know what are you up to these days well, I'm a, I'm a school teacher. I, I, I uh, teach Spanish in the middle school in, in Roxbury, New Jersey. I, I live in Roxbury, New Jersey, and uh, I uh, enjoy coming out and doing some events and, and meeting fans and uh, see, seeing some of the guys. Uh, I saw uh, Baron Von Raschke a little while ago, and uh, I hadn't seen him in probably 15 years. So uh, I enjoy going out from time to time and, and seeing some of my friends. Good. Now you're still wrestling now, right? I still I, I still do a, a couple of months. I, I enjoy getting in the ring, and uh, as long as uh, I can still move around, uh, I feel like I can still get around pretty good. Uh, I, I, I enjoy getting in there and breaking up breaking up a sweat and, and teaching some of the young guys, uh, you know, the way it used to be. Well, from the classroom to the ring, uh, we're always fans of you, and uh, best of luck and happy holidays. Thank you very much. Same to you. Thank you. Arriba. Welcome back, Damage fans. I'm with the one and only J.T. Smith. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, um, what are some of your favorite moments in professional wrestling, and how did you get started? That's such a vast question you just asked me. But uh, I got started uh, with, uh, I guess you would say, with Joe Goodhart in TWA. Um, worked with him for a while. Then, of course, Todd Gordon took over at ECW. Worked with them and then Paul Heyman and worked, you know, worked up until like 1998. And that's, you know, that's pretty much the quick, quick and dirty of it. Um, but yeah, that's it, yeah. Now, um, when you're part of ECW, what was the backstage like? And uh, any, any favorite stories or memories that you have? Well, ECW at the time, man, it, it, it was like such a family. I mean, back then, the boys took care, they look out for each other like brothers, you know. Uh, you know you, you, of course, yeah, sibling rivalry. Yeah, but but all in all, you had you know, God had your back, and it was no nitpicking over. Oh no, you took my move, brother. None of that. It was like you know, you try to help each other, encourage each other. You know, 
and that's, that's I think the business is missing now. But, but yeah. Yeah. Um, part of the FBI. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of being a part with with Nunzio, Little Guido? That was a fun time. Um, <laughs> um, what was great about it was, I know it, it actually that, believe it or not, it was a hard character to, to do because I didn't want to offend anybody. Yeah. Um, actually, it was funny in New York. I'm, man, this one guy with a maid guy got ticked because I was doing that type of gimmick, and uh, I think one of the boys said, "Hey, you know, no, it's just a gimmick, just a gimmick," and it was cool. But I was I was very careful. Remember, I think it was called True Lies. With uh, remember that movie, yeah. and the guy explained. I kind of used that as the basis, saying that uh, you know I'm Sicilian. That's why you know, yeah. and that's why I, I try to make it kind of correct in a way. But it, you know, it was a fun time. That's all I say. Now, um, what are you up to these days? Oh, right now I'm um, an information support technologist uh, at a, a college in Virginia. Uh, work with work work with uh, computers, IT type stuff. So that's what I do now. Yeah. What do you think is lacking in professional wrestling these days that uh, back in the day when you were wrestling w had it? I can't say it was lacking because it's a different era. Um, back then it was, uh, I guess to sum it up, the media has changed the business. Uh, and I think wrestling had not, it did not learn how to change from cheat sheets to instant media. Yeah. And I think that kind of hurt the business, but overall, um, it's, it's apples and oranges. The business back in the, in the um, 80s, 90s is totally different from what's today. So you can't really, you really can't put no say, oh, this is better or that's better. There is no better. Yeah, we're definitely lacking tag teams and uh, good promos and storylines, man. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all about storylines. Um, you know, what, no, what storylines want to bring people back, back to wrestling? That's, that's, that's the key. That's about it. Well, JT Smith, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure and. Uh -oh, uh -oh. We are not leaving unless we at least ask JT to serenade us out oh, with no, no, some no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> with right. some first time. No. Ah. first time. One damage, come on. Ah. One more for the road. Fly me to the moon and let me sing among the stars. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, man. To, to buy that signal, go to iTunes.com. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what's your name? Where are you from? Nate Lawson, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, you just drove up all the way up here. Who do you want to meet today? Sergeant Slaughter. Been a dream of mine for a lifetime. And what's some favorite uh, matches for, from Sarge? I mean, of course, WrestleMania 7, you know, when he was the bad guy. I mean, that whole angle that he played, just classic. Uh, well, enjoy your time here at k and WrestleFest. All right, thanks, guys. All right, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Zach Brindley. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. All the way from Detroit, you came up here to meet who? To Sergeant Slaughter, 10-hour drive. Wow. What, what are some of your favorite matches of Sarge? Well, of course, you know, when he uh, wrestled Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania, his earlier matches against the Sheik are always some of my favorites. I pretty much enjoy all his matches, though. He's just, he's been my hero ever since I was a little kid. That's awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of your time here at K&S WrestleFest. Thanks, brother.
attention maggots, I'm Sergeant Slaughter, and you're watching Completely Damaged. Don't touch that dial. And that's an order. Have I made myself clear? Good. Then don't make me come looking for you.